All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. Let us know if you are our half a millionth subscriber. This is a huge milestone. I want to welcome everybody to the channel. Of course, the reason you subscribe is because you're interested in making money in cryptocurrency and staying up to date on a daily basis on everything going on in the cryptocurrency market. We have so much to talk about today. I want to talk about Bitcoin. I want to talk about Elon Musk. We know he's buying Bitcoin, but is he buying Ethereum? Is he buying Cardano? I'm going to show you the evidence. It's just speculation, but there is some evidence to back up this speculation. And of course, I want to know what you think in the comments, if you think Elon Musk would touch Ethereum or would touch Cardano. I want to know. And then, of course, we're going to get into altcoin news that you need to know about. So make sure that you like the video, support the channel, and let's get started. Bitcoin has printed its biggest hourly candle in history, a $10,000 drop. Holy shit, that's one hell of a wick and some serious buying volume. And this is what the Bitcoin price chart looks like on the day chart. As you can see, Bitcoin dropped currently to where it was just two to three days ago. And even if we go to the lowest point in the wick, because keep in mind, guys, now, you know, pro tip here, now that Bitcoin has had an 18% dip, it's possible we could go into a consolidation mode because market structure has been broken, possibly. Of course, nobody knows the future. And the more important point here is if you're scared, when in doubt, zoom out. Bitcoin is in a great place. The best thing you can do if you're one of the new people who bought recently, continue to learn continue to study every day and hodl Bitcoin, right? Hodl Bitcoin. And guys, I've said this before, certain types of FUD against Bitcoin, it, it's over. There's, there's always going to be FUD, but as far as people selling or the majority of people selling, because of on-chain data, this type of information is something we've never had this quality and quantity of any other Bitcoin cycle, we know that Bitcoin supply on exchanges is shrinking. It's just a fact. Even as price has been going up for months and months, this is unprecedented in a bull market compared to every. So this is us this cycle, how much Bitcoin has been taken off exchanges compared to last cycle. It's a lot longer. It's a lot deeper. Again, this is unprecedented in a bull market, and there's nothing more fundamental in economics than supply and demand. So am I a Bitcoin buyer here? You bet I am, and plenty of other people are. Before we get to Cardano, before we get to Ethereum, finishing up on Bitcoin, as we know, micro strategy, a microcosm for you know what's going on in the corporate world, plans to buy 2,000 Bitcoin per second. As you know, the company recently raised another $1.03 billion, according to the firm's CEO, Michael Saylor. They're planning to make a purchase of over 2,000 Bitcoin per second in the span of 10 working days. And this is just the company that we know about, the guy who likes to talk about it. Imagine how many companies or entities or whatever is buying Bitcoin without us knowing about it yet and will only feel safe coming out and supporting Bitcoin when the price goes higher. Well, we can see on-chain data that shows us that this might be the case. Two whales just withdrew a billion dollars from Coinbase. Bitcoin has never been more expensive. They withdrew one billion dollars. Has left Coinbase in the past day. 36 separate transactions were made each valued at between 351 and 391 Bitcoins. So case in point, no matter how you look at the data, Bitcoin is being bought up. With that being said, let's talk about Elon Musk. If what I'm about to share with you is true, this would be big. There's reason to believe that Elon Musk is either getting into Ether or getting into ADA. Now, just a year or two ago, even saying Elon is getting in on Bitcoin, you're thought of as being a crazy person. And there is a, a, you know, what's true is that Elon Musk understands the value proposition of Bitcoin, about 1.5 billion for his company, accepting it for his product. So make no mistake about it. He's putting his money into Bitcoin. However, there is reason to believe that he may be getting into Ethereum 
or Cardano as well. I'm going to lay out the case. Again, this is just speculation. You'll have to tell me what you think in the comments below. Let's start with Ethereum. For a long time, Elon Musk never mentioned Ethereum. The first time I could find him talking about it is July 2nd, the summer of 2020. What's interesting is that he was responding to a tweet from a year earlier, May 2019. William Shatner tweeted at him, My friends Vitalik and Elon were trying to decide what to build on Ethereum. And he never responded until a year later. He goes, I'm not building anything on Ethereum. I'm not for it, not against it, just don't use it or own any. So Ether maybe wasn't on his radar in 2019. He wasn't interested. In 2020, at least we know it was on his radar, especially to respond to a tweet from a year prior. And he says, I'm not for it, I'm not against it, but it is on his radar. The next time he brought up Ethereum was just a few days ago. He was arguing against Peter Schiff, just talking about Bitcoin, just talking about Bitcoin. And then all of a sudden, just a few days ago, he says, that said, Bitcoin and ETH do seem high, LOL. Oh, well, there you go. He says they're high. He's not going to buy anything if it's too high. LOL, Bitcoin, Ether. What's interesting is this. Tesla stock price is too high, in my opinion. This was May 1st, 2020. As you know, Elon Musk over the past year, or Tesla rather, has been doing stock buybacks. May 1st, 2020. Wow, the Tesla stock was too high. That's interesting. So, when Elon Musk tweets, Bitcoin and ETH do seem high, the fact that ETH is on his radar, the fact that he kind of did this similar with Tesla stock, it's just interesting. That's why a lot of people think Elon might be getting into Ethereum. Well, how about Cardano? That's a new one. As we know, Ethereum has high gas fees. A lot of people are touting Cardano as a, another viable solution, an up-and-comer. Is Elon Musk getting into Cardano? Now, the reason anybody thinks this is because he just recently changed his avatar from Bitcoin laser eyes to fork in the road. Metafork, as it were. Well, why does that matter? Well, if you go to Cardano's website, Discover Cardano, and you scroll all the way down to purpose, this is what it says. Cardano is a fork in the road. According to the website, it takes us from where we've been to where we're destined to be, a global society that is secure, transparent, and fair, and which serves the many as well as the few. Like the technological revolutions that have come before, it offers a new template for how we work, interact, and create as individuals, businesses, and societies. Truly, Cardano is a fork in the road. So, is Elon Musk buying Cardano, a fork in the road? Let's get to some altcoin news. Polkadot, a lot of people are fans of Polkadot. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, UBS are trading an ETP tied to Polkadot's crypto. This is interesting. Goldman Sachs, ICAP, JP Morgan, and UBS have bought the first exchange traded product that offers exposure to Polkadot's dot cryptocurrency for clients. This is according to Bloomberg. This is according to Bloomberg Terminal data and has been reviewed by Coindesk. So I would say that these companies are all interested in trading Polkadot. They think Polkadot has some upside. That's what I assume. That's what I glean from this information. Either way, I think this is a very um, interesting metric and bullish indicator for Polkadot. MoneyGram drops Ripple, citing the SEC lawsuit. MoneyGram will no longer use Ripple's XRP-based liquidity product due to the uncertainty surrounding the crypto asset. So actually, they came out months ago and said we hardly used it at all. But here's the thing, guys. I know we have some Ripple bulls in the audience. I've never been a believer. That's just me. Hey, you can think whatever you want. It's only been eight years. Maybe it'll get some bank adoption eventually. And of course, just two years ago, MoneyGram was touted as such a big deal. Now that's dropped. Now the SEC is suing the company. I would say from a fundamental perspective, it doesn't look good. However, you know, 589 XRP, whatever the thing is. Thousands of users flock to Binance Smart Chain's latest app. I just wanted to point this out that Binance Smart Chain competing directly with Ethereum. It's a fork of Ethereum. The only thing that really changed is that Binance controls all the Binance Smart Chain nodes. It makes the fees a lot cheaper. 
we are seeing users flock to it at this point. We'll have to see, you know, more long term if Binance Smart Chain is used because, you know, it's centralized. It's just a fact, right? BlockFi.com slash altcoin daily. I always see comments about BlockFi in our comment section saying most people like the service that BlockFi provides. It's traditional financial services for cryptocurrency. If you use the link in the description or slash altcoin daily, you can put your crypto to work, earn up to 8.6 APY with a BlockFi interest account. And if you use our link, if you use the code altcoin daily, you can get up to 250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more in crypto. Make sure you check out the terms and restrictions yourself. I like BlockFi. BlockFi is one of the best in the game. You can do all sorts of things, trading, buy, sell. They're backed by some of the biggest names in cryptocurrency. Again, if you have Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, stablecoins just sitting around and you want to earn up to 8.6 APY, why not take a portion and put it into BlockFi? NFTs and crypto collectibles are getting huge. Soccer fan tokens on the march as Poland's biggest soccer club adopts crypto. So they're issuing fan tokens to all of the fans of their, you know, of the game. The spread of blockchain-based soccer fan tokens across Europe continues on Monday as Poland's most successful soccer club partnered with sports fintech firm Chilis. The LEG fan token is expected to launch in the coming months and will grant supporters voting rights on various club decisions. Token holders will also be eligible to take part in exclusive games, competitions, and VIP experiences. The supply of LEG fan tokens will be capped at 5 million. Um, this, they joined 21 other European football giants to have created fan tokens on the platform recently. Pretty interesting. NBA Top Shots sees 32 million of trading volume in one day. Thousands of people are trading the NFT based basketball trading cards, dwarfing that of any other rival product. A lot of hardcore Bitcoiners make fun of NFTs and they make fun of digital art, but the people are speaking. They're interested. They're all about it. They like it. Finishing up, this should be an NFT for ETH. You know, we're seeing a big correction and not just Bitcoin. ETH wicked to $700 on Kraken only. Huge wick. And then besides that, as far as ETH goes, they have plenty of things coming up this year that I think is going to be bullish for the price. All right. Thank you guys very much. My name is Aaron. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Feel free to check out either of these two videos for more information. See you tomorrow.